I hope Tavik's bullion aren't going to mind. I've got my gloves on. I'm actually going to take it out of the packaging. Hello future investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and I hope all of your investment goals are going to plan. Now this video is sponsored once again by Tavex Billion. They have sent me a wonderful piece to unbox for you guys. Now before I start, I just want to make a quick mention to our latest video, the start of the Sunday series with the Stack Collector. It was a great collaboration to film and it's going to be an episode happening every single Sunday at 7 p.m. UK time. If you haven't already seen that episode, make sure you wait till the end of this video because I'll be posting the link for the video for you to see. Okay, so without further ado, let's start the unboxing. Okay, so as I said once again, the wonderful Tavex Bullion have sent me a lovely piece to unbox. Okay, and as always, I've had to remove the gloves because it is just not doable with unboxings. So I'm very, very excited to open this piece. I, they did tell me what it is, but it's not a piece I've ever actually owned myself so oh hang on a minute yes as always there's some Tavex sweets in there thank you very much I know one of my viewers John is going to be very disappointed by that because he always says every time he goes to Tavex they have no more sweets so he says you must they probably have always given me all of their sweets so yeah sorry John but more of the Tavex sweets they know I like them and they are very very tasty okay so as always Lovely packaging from Tavex, gold and silver on the front with their logo. And there you've got their offices around Europe. Very, very nice. Now let's open this seal. I'm going to try and peel it off. I'll try and uh, unbox these without damaging the boxes because I like to keep it all nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's unveil the beauty. Dear future investments. Sealed and signed. Thank you very much from Tavex Bullion. Love that as always, such a nice touch. Here we go, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Let's take this beauty out. I'm actually gonna remove the box so you guys can get a better look at this piece. Wow, look at that. 2023 Yale of Beaufort coin. Look at the design. I love the padlock on the reverse of the, sorry, on the background of this image. It's in a brushed finish, whereas the Yale of Beaufort is in a gloss finish at the front. Very, very cool. Another fantastic coin from the Royal Mint. Their quality and their designs, in my opinion, really are quite unbeatable. And there you've got the legal tender spending value of £100 on the back now if you were to buy this piece from tavex bullion you would be looking to spend around 1695 pound a very very reasonable price indeed now i did do a bit of price comparison searching for this coin and if you were to look at the bullion by post website to buy this 2023 one ounce gold yale of beaufort coin you would actually be paying 1745 pound that's £50 more than Tavex Bullion are selling it for. So Bullion by Post are charging much higher premiums than Tavex Bullion. So as always, Tavex Bullion really are very, very difficult to beat on price. You guys will know if you're, a, if you're an avid watcher. A while ago, I did a price comparison of many, many uh, Bullion dealers. It was in the early days of when I first heard about Tavex Bullion. So they were included in the price um, comparison and they always featured at number one so very very impressive pricing there from tavex bullion now the current price of gold right now as of this week is 1585 pound and 94 pence it's actually down 1.41 percent this week so that's actually around 22 pound and 70 percent this week so it is currently down at the moment so if you're watching this video it could be a good time to buy one of these 2023 yale of beaufort coins maybe you're not looking to buy any gold at the moment maybe you're looking to invest your money maybe in some index funds like the s p 500 well currently the s p 500 is up 
3.75% this week and I've been monitoring it quite closely and actually for the last few weeks it hasn't made a loss. So although maybe it's not the best time to consider putting in your money to the S&P 500 because it's currently high, I always find that when you're trying to time the market that's when you lose out. I do believe it's better to have time in the market rather than trying to time the market. So yeah, it's depending where you're looking to invest at the moment, but if you're thinking about buying gold, now is probably a good time to consider doing that as the price this week is down, as I said, 1.41%. Now this 2023 Yale of Beaufort coin is a absolutely stunning piece, and I'd like to actually do a size comparison. So behind me here, I've actually got some fractional gold, a quarter ounce 2023 Queen Elizabeth Britannia. Well, as you guys will know, the quarter ounce fractional gold is actually probably my favourite gold bullion that I invest with because I believe it's so good for so many reasons. I love the fact that it's fractional. I think it will be much easier to liquidate in the future in comparison to say one ounce because they'd be so so much more expensive and already they they're, they're a vast amount of money that probably most investors don't really have the change for, especially new investors. But yeah, if we look at a size comparison, it gives you a good guide of the difference between a one ounce and a quarter ounce. If I sit the quarter ounce over the top of the Yale of Beaufort's, it almost, it almost, it's slightly bigger, but it is almost, I would say, the size of the central image here. In fact, it may exact, it may actually be bang on that. It looks like the capsule makes it look a bit bigger than that. But yeah, it probably is. If you, uh, if you own one of these or you buy one of these 2023 Yale of Beaufort coins and maybe you haven't got any fractional gold and you think, hmm, I wonder what a quarter ounce gold Britannia would look like compared to this. Well, just look at the inner image inside the circle and that will give you a rough guide of how big a quarter ounce Britannia is. Now, I'm going to be very, very cheeky. And because this capsule is one that is easily opened, I hope Tavix Bullion aren't going to mind. I've got my gloves on going to take it out of the packaging i'm going to be very very careful because i have got to send this piece back absolutely stunning they always look so much better out of the packaging don't they look at that piece utterly beautiful really really is stunning for me personally i prefer the britannias over say sovereigns because i prefer the color and obviously britannias are a slightly higher carat gold then sovereigns are. I know some of you do prefer sovereigns over Britannia's, and there's no right or wrong answer, in my opinion. I think it comes down to personal preference. But wow, this piece is stunning. As most of you will know, most of you uh, will know that I, I really do prefer to stack Britannia's over sovereigns and any other type of coin. But when you see a piece like this with such a beautiful intrinsic design with really good security features such as the padlocks in the back, I do sometimes contemplate the idea of putting something like this 2023 Yale of Beaufort coin in my stack because, I mean, how can you not? It's such a wonderful piece that really, it would just look so good in your stack. So let's be very careful and place that back in its capsule as we received it and place the capsule very carefully back on top. And there you go. That is the one ounce 2023 Yale of Beaufort coin. Overall, I rate this very, very highly. I think the design is fantastic. So yeah, very, very beautiful piece. I could understand why a lot of you may purchase this. And when you look at Tavex Bullion's prices on gold, it's hard to justify why not to buy it, especially when comparing it to such a big bullion dealer like Bullion by Post. I mean, they're charging £50 higher premiums. I mean, that's absolutely insane. For that money, you could actually buy a one gram Tavex gold bar for that. So, yeah, something to really, really think about. But overall, thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you to the channel members. As always, you've got the Stat Collector and 365 days of silver and uh, yeah appreciate your support thank you as always to tavix for sending me this wonderful precious metal to unbox and review i thoroughly enjoyed it and i look forward to reviewing and unboxing more pieces from tavix bullion so if you haven't already consider clicking that subscribe button and please drop a like on the video below because it really helps the youtube algorithm get the videos out to people that want to see precious metals and learn about investing in this amazing commodity. So as always, guys, I will see you in the very next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
To watch another episode on future investments, click the link now.